Hey everyone, today we're going to continue talking about the relative basicities of amines like aromatic amines and aliphatic amines just compare, practice comparing relative basicities of different amines with each other so we're going to try to look at these molecules here so on the left we have LSD and on the right we have serotonin and we have to find the most like the most basic nitrogen in every molecule and we're gonna try to put them like in order like which one is the most basic and then what comes after that so let's look at LSD first we have three nitrogens so let's say this is number one two and three microphone larger yeah like that okay so if we look at nitrogen number one it's an amide it's an amide nitrogen and usually amide nitrogen is less basic than amides and that's because there is a resonance like here we have the electron pair which is like the, which gives the nitrogen its basicity and you can see here that it has a resonance with the oxygen so this electron pair is weaker that makes the nitrogen not that basic so we could say that amide the amide nitrogen would be number three but you should just try to be careful because sometimes amides can be more basic than amines in rare cases but usually if you're like in school or university usually they want you to know that amides are less basic like the conjugate acid of amides is negative so like the conjugate acid is very strong so it makes it a very weak base. Okay, now we have to compare nitrogen number two with nitrogen number three. Let's try to compare it, to compare them. This one here, number three, is a pyrrolic nitrogen. And we have electron pair right here that it's a part of the aromatic ring because as you can see, as we said, as we said, like in, in a previous video, that if we have an atom that's connected, that has at least one pair of electrons, and it's connected to an sp2 atom, this is sp2, that makes it sp2 as well, because this electron pair is part of the aromatic ring, and to know if it's if it's basic, to know if a molecule is basic. We need to look at the conjugate acid and the conjugate acid of this nitrogen would be this and we would lose this pair of electron this pair of electrons which would break our aromaticity which is bad so this nitrogen is not that basic either so if we compare this nitrogen number three with number one it's very close like both of them are not basic but the amide would be less basic than the pyrrolic nitrogen. The pKa of the conjugate acid of pyrrole is 0 0.4. And the conjugate acid of amides, we said it's negative. So that makes the amide less basic. And here we have a normal tertiary amide which is the most basic. And if we look at the conjugate acid, it's like this. And because it's tertiary, it's good because the R groups are electron donating. So they donate their electrons and stabilize the positive charge on the nitrogen. So it's gonna be, we said this is number two. So two, three, 
and LSD. Now let's look at serotonin. So it's much easier after we did the LSD because this one is a pyrrolic nitrogen. As we said before, it's not basic. And this is a normal amine. And usually amines, like normal amines, are more basic than amines that have a pair of electrons that is included in the aromaticity. So if we said this is number one and this is number two, one more than two. All right. This is LSD and serotonin. We are done with them. And let's take a look at these two nitrogens. So as you can see, as you can see here, these are conjugate acids, let's say. So let's compare which conjugate acid is stronger, and then we can tell if the original compounds, which are like this. Like this, this is the conjugate, this is the conjugate acid of this. And this is the conjugate acid of this molecule. Okay. All right. So let's see which conjugate acid is stronger, this or this. Now, here, both of this nitrogen is sp3. Um, both of them is secondary. Like, nothing helps us here. We don't have any resonance. So we have to look in, in these cases, like when one ring is larger than the other, like is much larger. Like here we have um, a three atom ring and here we have two, four, six atom ring. So we have to look at the bond angles. So this is the internal angle here of the ring. And here we have this internal angle. Which internal angle is, lar is larger, wider? This one. And when the internal angle is wider, that makes the outer angle, which is this one, smaller. Okay, so here, if you can see this angle, this internal angle is very small that makes the outer angle this angle larger you can look at you can think of it that way if there is a girl who is skinnier you can open her legs wider i'm sorry i just think of it that way it's not it's not true in real life but i just think of it that way so since this angle is wider that makes this bond weaker so this makes this ion or this conjugate acid stronger because this bond is weaker so it wants to give the hydrogen the proton more okay so since this acid is stronger that means this base is weaker. Okay. We look at the pKa. This one has a pKa of 8. And the other ion has a pKa of 11.1. .1. So this acid is stronger. Okay. Let's look at example number three. We have to rank the following molecules. From the least basic to the most basic. Okay, let's do it. 
As you can see here, again, we have this pyrrolic nitrogen, which is usually the least basic, because if we put a hydrogen here and look at the conjugate acid, we break the aromaticity, as we said. So from the first look, we can say that this is four. Four. OK. Now let's compare this one with this one, because it's the same number of atoms in the ring, six-membered ring. And here we have an sp2 hydrogen, and here we have sp3. If we compare the acidity, like which, which molecule is more acidic, then sp is more acidic than sp2, and sp2 is more acidic than sp3. But if we compare which one is more basic, it's the exact opposite. So sp3 is more basic than sp2. Why? Because sp3 atoms are less electronegative. So if they are less electronegative, that means they are not strongly bonded, let's say, to the pair of electrons. And they can, like the pair of electrons are more free to accept hydrogen. Okay, so let's just say this is one and this is two. I'm not sure, I didn't even look at the molecule, the last molecule, but let's just look at it. Here we have aniline and the reason why aniline would be number three in this case because aniline has this pair of electrons, it's not very free. Why? Because it's a conjugated nitrogen, and usually conjugated nitrogens are not very basic because they are usually like the pair of electrons are included in the resonance structures. Okay, like this. So they are not free, but they're still more basic than the pyrrolic nitrogen. Because if we look at the conjugate acid of aniline, we wouldn't break any aromaticity because here is the aromatic ring. Okay, this is it for part three. I hope you understood the examples and I wish you good luck. As usual, if you need any organic chemistry help, free organic chemistry help, you can add me on Skype and you can ask me anything and I, I would gladly help.